Jane King Live at the NASDAQ is brought to you by the Good Feet Store. Lily stock is surging. And apparently it's because of a promising yes. Alzheimer's drug. Jane, good morning. That's right, Scott Kelly. We talked about this when the results were first revealed. We should have bought the stock. It's up 19% in a week, and this is on hopes that its Alzheimer's drug will continue to show benefit. Some think the stock has gotten ahead of itself, though. A city research analyst believes that these rising market expectations will ultimately be tempered by caution, given a history of failed Alzheimer disease trials, and certainly we have seen a lot of those. Uh, Lily has said it will provide more detailed data on that drug on March 13th. Well, meanwhile, banks say they're seeing strong demand for PPP loans. Applications opened last week for Indiana businesses. Now, some banks say they're hearing a sense of urgency from these small businesses that have been hit hard by the pandemic. U.S. hotels recorded the lowest occupancy rates on record last year. The pandemic, of course, kept uh, travelers at home. It ate up their profits. Hotel occupancy was just 44 percent for the entire year. That's down from 66 percent in 2019. It was the lowest number on record record according to the data provider STR. The industry passed 1 billion unsold rooms for the first time in history. It will likely show zero or near zero profit this year. And a British cruise line will require a vaccine for a passenger. That will be the first in the industry. Saga Cruises says passengers must have received both doses of the COVID vaccine at least 14 days before they are set to board the ship. As for those who are not interested in getting the vaccine, they will not be able to sail on Saga under those current guidelines. Well, the S&P 500 rallied yesterday to a record close. It was 14% higher on Inauguration Day than it was on Election Day. That broke a record set by President Hoover all the way back in 1928, according to Market Watch. Higher this morning, up about 50 points. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Scott and Kylie. Uh, it's almost time to talk about groundhogs. Phil, the groundhog is looking to make yes. some cash this year's <laughs> Groundhog Day. <laughs> Well, of course. I mean, he gets so much attention, right? I mean, he's got to cash in on that. So you can celebrate Groundhog Day with an $80 cameo from Puxatawney Phil. Now, the world-famous Groundhog joined a growing list of animal creators on Cameo. So that's a video sharing platform you can pay. and allows uh, them to do a customized video for you. There's actors, musicians, athletes to do it. Now, animals like Puxatawney Phil. And just try to spell Puxatawney sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was going through the letters in my head. I know there's an X in there somewhere. Uh, but you there's know what, I am, yes. I am shocked that it's taken this long for them to monetize this. Oh, they've done it in many other ways. The cameo thing, I think, is a new one. Yeah. yeah. And, and honestly, it's a new until thing, that yeah. movie came out, uh -huh. there were a bunch of groundhogs. At, like, sure. regionally, everybody had right. their own ground. And there's still oh, some yeah. out there. Oh, there's one, yeah. There's Staten Island Chuck. Yes, exactly. Colonel Beauregard, there's uh -huh. a bunch of them. Beauregard, <laughs> yeah. But Phil got, got to Hollywood, so there well, you go. Well, he's a biggie. Yes. Uh, Jane, live in New York for us. Thank you. It is 727.